Hi students, I made this video so that you could see a couple more examples of um, converting floating point numbers from decimal to binary and then also from binary to decimal. Um, so floating point numbers are fractional numbers, right? So let's do, um, let's convert a floating point number 61.6875 from best decimal base 10 to binary. Okay, so um, the method here is we have our number that has basically two parts. We've got this whole number part and then we've got this fractional part. So we're going to split this up into two problems. The whole number part, this conversion into binary, we're going to use the iterative division algorithm. And then for this fractional part, we're going to handle this one separately. And this one we're going to use the, um, I call this the times two method. Okay. So we basically have two problems wrapped in, up into one because we have to handle the whole number part and the fractional part differently. So let's first do the, um, the whole number part. This iterative division algorithm, we're going to take our 61 and first divide by 2, and that gives us 30 with a remainder of 1. Then we take our 30 and divide by 2, and that gives us 15 with a remainder of 0. Then we take our 15 and we divide that by 2, and that gives us 7 with a remainder of 1. Then we take our 7 and we divide by 2, and that gives us 3 with a remainder of 1. Then we take our 3 and we divide by 2, and that gives us 1 with a remainder of 1. And then finally, we take our 1 and divide by 2, and that gives us 0 with a remainder of 1. This was our stopping condition for the iterative division algorithm. When we get our a equals q equals 0, that's when we stop. And then we collect all of our remainders from bottom to top. So the order of our remainders is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now this is the conversion into binary of 61. Great, so we are halfway done. Now we want to handle this fractional part. So the times 2 method, we're just going to do successive multiplications by 2. So let's do that. First we do 2 times 0.6875 and that gives us 1.375. Now we're going to strip off this 1 and we're just going to take the 0.375 and multiply that by 2. So 2 times 0.375 gives us 0 0.75. Now we're going to strip off the 0 and we're going to multiply 2 by 0.75 and that gives us 1.5. We're going to strip off the 1. We take our 0.5 and multiply that by 2 and we get 1.0. Since this is a 0, that's one of our stopping conditions. So um, our times 2 method is going to terminate here and then what we do is we're going to collect all of these whole number results that we stripped off um, and instead of collecting them from bottom to top like we did over here we're going to collect them from top to bottom so the order for this is point one zero one one okay so point one zero one one is the binary conversion of decimal 0.6875. So all we have to do is just put these back together and we get that 61.6875 in decimal is equivalent to 111101.1011 in binary. Okay, so let's see an example of going the other direction. So, for example two, let's convert this 111101.1011 from decimal. 
I'm sorry, from binary to decimal. Okay, so this is the same result that we got here. So let's go the other way and make sure we end up with 61.6875, just to check our work. Okay, great. So for this, we're going to do our, um, this is going to be the multiplication algorithm. Multiplication, we'll say method. Um, and the way we set this up is we wrote out our digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 0 and two ones. And then we make our placeholder subscripts. So starting to the left of the decimal, this starts at zero and gets larger as we move to the left. And then to the right of the decimal, this starts with negative one and gets smaller as we move to the right. Okay, so we have all of our placeholder subscripts um, written out. And then we're going to take these digits so the first digit here is a 1. We're going to multiply that by 2 raised to the subscript, which is negative 4. The next digit is a 1. We're going to multiply that by 2 to the negative 3. The next digit is a 0. 0 times 2 to the negative 2. The next digit is a 1 times 2 to the negative 1. We just continue right on past the decimal point. The next one is 1 times 2 to the 0. The next digit is 0 times 2 to the 1. The next digit is a 1 times 2 to the 2nd. The next digit is a 1 times 2 to the 3rd. The next digit is a 1 times 2 to the 4th. And finally, we have 1 times 2 to the 5th. Great, so we have all of our multiplication set up. These products, uh, this is going to give us 0 0.0625. This gives us 0 0.125. This is just um, 0. This gives us 0 0.5. This gives us 1. This is 0. This gives us 4. This gives us 8, 16, and 32. So we have all of our products. Now the last thing we do is we just add straight down all of these products together and we get 61.6875. So therefore, we would say 111101.1011 in binary is equivalent to 61.6875 in decimal.